Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a very small, compact, but still super luxury Class A diesel pusher. This is a 2021 Integra Coach Riata XL Model 37K. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Riata XL and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this Riata XL. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. You're in the Christmas spirit. I am, you guys. Matt's making fun of me, but I feel that since there's no Christmas parties this year, I, I had to get into the spirit. So. Oh my gosh, you got the tiara. I, I got the snowflake and earrings, the earrings and the snowflake and headband. But what better way? I mean, a Riata, that's what we're doing today. Oh no, it, we're doing a Riata XL. It deserves the, the snowflakes. snowflakes. Okay, <laughs> hashtag snowflake. Let's begin. Model is Riata XL 37K. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 37 feet 10 inches. This is made on a Spartan K2 chassis with independent front suspension. It's 380 horsepower Cummins L9 with 1150 foot pounds of torque. Woo! Wow. America. Up front here, we have a nice windshield right here. This, this motorhome is so cool. Do you see right there, Andrea? Yes. That's a camera for 360 degree wow. uh, viewing around the whole thing. We have our nice Integra headlight design look and everything. And then right here is your generator. It is a Cummins Onan QD 10,000 generator. Now that's a generator. Hell yeah. Look at these mirrors right here. Very pretty. We got chrome mirrors and with integrated with cameras on the left side, right side and reverse. Coming down the side here. Frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. We have a door awning right there and a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Matt, I like this color. Great, nice power awning with LED lights. Now coming back over here, we do have touch button for keyless entry. Check out these tires, and they're in the Michelins. I love those. 275-80R 22.5 with the AccuRide rims. Now it's Wait, fun. why does it say Spartan? It's a Spartan chassis. Oh. Now, um, it's funny because people are looking at this motorhome saying, Matt, why are you saying it's small? In diesel pusher world, this is a very small but compact luxury motorhome. Check this out. Nice aluminum storage. Electrical outlet right there. Yep, it is carpeted right there. And then here's, you can see it's uh, it's on a K2 raised rail chassis, Andrea. We have a nice slide out four ride tray right here. Okay. Very nice. You're able to access that on both sides. And right here we have an Insignia TV on the outside. Very nice. Very nice. And then right over here, it's the other side of that storage. And then if you look there, you see that heat duct right over there? Oh, yeah. Yep, that means it's a heating closed underbelly. Oh, box. that's great. Very nice. I don't like the carpet, but I know why they do it. Correct. And then right up there, Andrea, that's another camera. Again, for your 360 viewing, it is one of the coolest things. Right here is going to be your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Now, Matt, they put the carpet there so it keeps it insulated well and also so the noise, so stuff's not um, bouncing back and forth when you're driving. That's what they say, yes. Right there, we got more storage. Okay. And over here, it's just gonna be your batteries oh, wow. and uh, some electrical components. Cool. Nice big doors, look at that. Coming around the back. Oh man, oh, no ladder. Oh darn, to get up no on the ladder, roof. Matt. It is a one piece fiberglass roof, Andrea. This the uh, K2, it's a 380 horsepower. You got your backup camera right there. You have your receiver hitch right here already integrated with you know what this is for this is all uh, for uh the air force one 
uh, towing capability with the air brakes on that. You didn't give us a tow weight. I'm looking for it. Oh man, it's under. I can't see it. Let me Google it real quick. With a 10,000 pound hitch, Andrea, and this motorhome can tow 10,000 pounds. Finishing up with the driver's side. Oh. Nice 50 amp power cord reel. I love that with a surge protector. Here's your, and, and look, that right there is where the cord goes so you can keep this door closed. I got the cable right there and the electrical, electrical outlet. Yes, very nice. Right, here's where you fill up your DEF. Over here is gonna be your wet bay. Very nice, very clean, organized. That hose right there, it does have a macerator system. Black tank flush and everything. Right over here, look at that. It's the Aqua Hot 250D water heater. Very nice. Does that mean there's no propane? Oh, we got a central back. Yeah, I don't think there's any propane on this coach. So Andrea, we will have all the specs about this coach. Lengths, tank size, whiffs, everything down in the description below. Also, bing, right there for everybody who is watching on television. More storage, the yep. other side. Yep. The other side. More a little bit storage. more storage in your auto leveling right there. Your fuel fill up right there. And then over here, just got to be just a little bit more wiring and stuff. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, I'm excited to see this. Here we go now. Cargo carrying capacity, 6,523 pounds. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. All right, so here we are, guys. As you can see, the slide is in. Slide so outs are in. I'm gonna have you hold this and I'm gonna walk through. All right, so as you can see, I'm gonna have to walk this way to get through. And then as soon as you get past that, there's more walkway. Okay. Thanks. And then show me. For the bigger people, if you want to back up okay. a little bit, right? I'm still able to do it. <laughs> there All you right. go. I got it. Oh. All right, guys. So here I'm walking through to go to the bathroom. Very, very tight, but doable. And as you can see, here's the master. And it is a tilt-a-bed, it looks like. Yes. All right. Now, Andrea. Yes. This is a big motor home. I mean, it's small, but there is four slide outs. So it's small when you're driving and when you're parked, it makes it really, really big. Okay, let's see it. Now, Andrea, while the slide out's coming out, I might have one of the hugest favors I've ever asked anyone. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Riata XL and three things you don't like about it. The the more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our videos to. And Andrea, we just crossed 93,000 subscribers. Thank you absolutely everyone. Thank you everybody, we're almost there. Now here's the problem. In 37 days, we're having our 100,000 subscriber party um, the first day of the Tampa RV show which is January 13th. Correct. And so we need help. Spread the word, y'all. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed because it would be really bad if we have our 100,000 <laughs> subscribers party. And we party. didn't reach it. And yeah, so Will got us a cake and maybe we just have to cut a corner of the Aww. cake off or something. I don't know. Cool. But Let's we thank begin. each and every one of you guys. And we, we know you can help us hit our goal. Let's begin. I like the floors in here. So up front here, Andre, this is something different that we're not used to seeing here in Florida. It's the Spartan chassis, okay? Uh, independent front suspension. It's just a little different. A lot of times we're used to seeing freight liners. You've got your battery boost, auxiliary brake, everything's right here. Here's your auto leveling. Oh, it's back there. Yep. Okay. You know, you got your digital screen right here. Something that I really liked when I was driving this around front. You can change that so where you can see 360 the 360 camera also what's going on behind you very nice 
Uh, we have your radio, navigation, everything, your Allison transmission right there. And Andrea, you want to sit in my co-captain seat? You know I want to. Cup holders right there and everything. Oh, you guys, this is nice. And you know what? Both seats do swivel and it does have a footrest here. Yes, very nice. And there is the piece that goes over the door here. Yep, yep. But I don't know where it is right now, but I do see, let me have that so I can show what's over here. Um, I do see that we have X, uh, SB, USB port, cup holder, oh here it is there we go sorry guys all right so as you can see this goes over so when you're in here and you got the door shut and everything or when you're driving you can close that Did and you, you do have a floor lifted up as that well was pretty awesome that was pretty awesome actually and then you just push it when you don't want to use it anymore and see i like that one because they, it, it happens faster yeah nothing I, it sounds silly but nothing ticks me off when it's really slow Outlet. and you know what these are power seats. Yep. Very comfortable. And We've then got above. Some cabinetry up here. Yep. A little bit of cabinetry there. No bunk over the cab in this. No big deal. Got a TV right here. Insignia. Very awesome. nice. Very nice. I like the gloss on the cabinetry here. Oh, and look. I like that they gave you the daytime and the privacy shades. Yes. Very nice. Over here in the living room, Andrea love 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 these theater seats first we do have some storage above andrea look at this art deco no what about that um double deco no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the sconces here the light sconces uh -huh. and guys i gotta say do i don't like know them? what's going on with the balances but like uh them. um no you don't like them? No. I kind of like it because it matches the artwork. It's outdated. I like it. We'll see what RV Review Crew has to say about it. Okay, and then right here is your theater seats. When the inverter's on, it's push button. Very nice. Very big and comfortable. You got a ton of storage wow. right here. Wow, let me see that again. Yep. You also have a USB charger right there. Cup Pretty holder cool. as well. Andre, this is big space. I want to show nice. this little end table here, which is nice got drawers there wow very deep. very good storage very nice electrical outlet over there uh-huh and you forgot the tv i didn't forget it's right over here televator i and love those because when you don't want to use it you have so much light well it sounds stupid but i like how fast it goes some so many times they they just take so long to come up right there we have a little bit more storage your wine guard traveler they got a sound bar up there yep tv splitter sony dvd player sound bar yep if you want to grab that We've got some cabinets with oh adjustable shelves yep adjustable very shelves nice. on the side now, as well that, this is a very interesting um scheme here you know i've never noticed I've that i've never noticed that either interesting very interesting i do like that they gave you you know the solid surface table there yep and it does drop down to Electrical make a bed outlet usb there Okay, there is storage Oh, underneath. and it just comes up. Okay, yeah. that's great. Yeah, for sure. Very nice, very nice dinette. Well, Andrea, it's now time. Oh. You forgot that, yeah, Matt. <laughs> we got oh, that's nice pretty. storage. That's I love the lights on the inside. I like the, the light inside. in there. You got adjustable shelf. Backsplash right there with power. Solid surface countertops. Two drawers and a nice fireplace right there. Also, I do want to point out the porcelain tile, Snapstone uh, tiles. It's nice. I like the floor. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Bow, 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 bow. MSRP on this motorhome here is $377,514 MSRP. Sale price currently, we have it 25% off to $283,999. That is a fantastic sale price. But Andrea, as great of a sale price as that is, we can always get everybody in America an even better sale price than that. Tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell phone, or 
Send me an email at mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or even better, go to our website mattsrvreviews.com. You'll go down to the contact tab. You'll see three sections. If you're ready to buy this motorhome or any motorhome, click tab number one. That will take you to General RV and somebody from my team will contact you ASAP. If you have questions and you want to compare this motorhome against other motorhomes, perfect. Click number two, me, Will, and Andrea monitor that email and we will answer you within 24 to 48 hours to best of our abilities. Or if you just have a generalized fan question for me or mostly Andrea, <laughs> just click that third box and that goes to her. And we love to hear from we you do. guys. We but love you guys. Andrea, it doesn't matter if they click box three, two, or one. And it doesn't matter if they're buying today or in five years from now. What's the one thing it all has in common? They will get the best price in America. <laughs> Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, Matt, you totally missed this. Look at this light fixture. Maybe I didn't miss it. Maybe maybe I saved it for you. It's interesting, right? Yes, yes. Do you like it? Um, I do. I do like it. I think it's very interesting. Um, I like it. Look, adds... look it has like, look how it's detailed here. Very nice. Also, something I do want to mention. This is the Whisper Quiet air conditioning system. All right, I am gonna start right here. Okay. And it looks like I have a pull-out peninsula. Ooh, right off the gate. Very nice. Yes. Solid surface countertops, of course. Uh-huh. We got three drawers here. Good yep. size drawers. All right, over here. Oh, this is interesting. I, I gotta open this, I'm sorry. What is it hiding? Does Look. it even open? Ooh. Oh, spices nice. maybe? Yeah electrical outlet here oh look at this very nice got very all your nice. remotes up here mm -hmm. look and, at that huge window oh it's nice and you got both okay you got both shades wow up that's nice usually they only do one right i mean usually you won't even get that in the kitchen area i like how the window opens that way yep. okay so we have a Ooh, a big rectangle sink. Very nice. Nice faucet and we everything. Got the extension there. Mm-hmm. You always got to show that. Especially for us dishwashers. <laughs> dishwashers. All right. And under here. Oh, wow. look. Ooh, that's an $83 trash can. We haven't had one of these in a while. <laughs> I'm excited. It's the Christmas spirit. All right, over here we got the convection microwave. Wow, very big and nice. It is. I like that. And we got the other side, I guess, if you want to put spices over here More too. More spices. We got the two burner Furion cooktop hey, induction. Put, put some shake and bake in there. <laughs> <laughs> and we got, oh, look at that, that's a big drawer. Yep. Great size. Okay, residential Whirlpool refrigerator. Yes. With ice maker. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. And, okay, the pantry. Mm. I love it. Mm. I like it when they have these. Mm. It just makes it so much easier, you know? It does, it does. And then Matt, you forgot to show the fan up here. Fantastic. And the control panel. Yep. Perfect. Andrea, over here. Pocket door for the bathroom. Look at this big shower. Oh, that's nice. That's a very nice shower, very big shower. Very impressed with the size of this shower. It's one piece fiberglass, especially with the length of this motorhome, trying to cram four slide outs in. You know, it, it, they really did a great job with this shower. Very nice, and I gotta say, nice shower head. I mean, you know, I know it's you think it's funny, but it, it's a big deal. Uh, no, no, it's totally a big deal. <laughs> all right, and here we got the medicine cabinet. Uh-huh. Very good size for all your medicines, yep. as Matt would say. Got, okay, we got trick cabinetry up here, you guys. Mm. I don't know if it opens, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 yes it does. Ooh. From the bottom. This one, oh yeah, they do, they, this one opens too. Maybe it's childproof. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Side two, solid surface countertop. In I the really, bathroom. I really like that they do that. It makes it look classy. Faucet here, and cabinetry there. All right, Andrea. And I like that shower door. It's now time for the toilet test. And you got a nice fan up there too, guys. Porcelain. <sighs> Andrea, this is nice. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! I will say this, believe it or not, it is a little bit low. And if you are very tall, 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, 
You might be squatting down too much, but good thing I'm not 6'5 or 6'6. Six, six. Toilet paper holder's in a good spot, too. Oh, yeah. Finishing up in the master bedroom. We got a pocket door here. Yep. Tilt a view bed. Andrea! Let's put that down. Triple deco. Wow. I, I, I'm impressed. Where's the... Oh, we don't know where the remote is, do we? Oh, okay. Perfect. Yep. But real quick. Let me show this real quick before you put that down. So, as you can see, it's vented right there. Uh-huh. Bed's going down. Nice king-size bed. Yeah. I like the headboard up there. And you got oh two my windows gosh. on both sides. Oh, my gosh. This bed is so comfortable. Yeah. I think the last time I was in a, a higher-end Integra diesel, the bed was the most comfortable bed I've ever been on. So, yeah. I got to tell you guys, I might just come over here just to nap. Just take it a little nappy poo. Yep. I like how they have the cross ventilation windows. Yep. And you do get a nightstand on both sides with the storage. Very nice. And then over here, we have a nice adjustable cabinetry there. Wardrobe. Wardrobe. We have TV back oh, there. Oh, there's a safe there. There sure is. Cool. Very nice. We got this again, adjustable. And, and then Matt, look how big those drawers are. You got six drawers. Wow, they're deep too. Very nice. Yes, they are deep too. Very and nice. And the exit window. Uh -huh. And again, the valances, you guys. Let me know what you think about these. I like them. What's in there? This is oh. a stackable Whirlpool washer dryer. Nice. I love that. And then over here, this rear Step closet. Up. More wardrobe space. Very nice. Plenty Very of storage awesome. in here. Absolutely. Let me see that other side. Very nice. I like it. And Andrea, I like it too. But as much as I like it, and as nice as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do with first? We're gonna have to do three things we dislike about it. Okay, I have two if you have one. Oh, you know I have one. Talk to me. Okay, I'm not a real fan of the outdated colors in here. Really? Yeah. What you talking about, Willis? The cabinetry's not that bad, but you know, this, this just makes it so much darker in here, the balances. And I will combo that. I don't know what the heck's going on with this top cushion. I don't know either, but other than that, it's 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 actually pretty nice. It's just a few interior things that bother me. Okay, no problem, no problem at all with that. That's number one. Number two, follow me. Nice handle here. I am not a fan of these little mirrors. Oh. You know what I'm saying? They're just little, and when, when I'm driving, I want a huge bus style mirror. Yeah. I want to be able to see everything. I don't want to have Good to rely on Good observation, Matt. Well, thank you, Andrea. <laughs> so that's number two, and we're going to make this easy. Number three, I'm not a fan of carpet underneath. I understand why they do it, and I know it helps with noise and Insulation. yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I'm just not a fan of the carpet. Me either. You know. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready? You go first. Okay. First thing I absolutely love is the fact that this motorhome is so short for a class A diesel, and it's able to give you four slide outs. I love how it's giving you one of the smaller class A diesel experiences while still giving you four slide outs. And the reason why is because they're using the K2 chassis by Spartan and it's independent front suspension and 380 horsepower. And I absolutely love that feature about this. So that's one, two. I gotta say, I love the kitchen. Yes. I love this kitchen. I love the way it's set up right here. Yes. I love that you have the peninsula here. Uh-huh. Beautiful countertops, plenty of space to cook, and you got the beautiful window. Induction, big microwave oven, and big, big fridge. And a big residential style sink. I mean, it's checking off all our boxes. Absolutely. For sure. So that's two. And then number three, 
Hmm. <laughs> What's number three? What's number three, Andrea? I, I gotta say, if you're gonna let me do number three, I love this bed. Even though I'm not a fan of tilt of view beds, I okay. don't know what the deal is with what Integra uses with their high-end diesel motorhomes. This is the most comfortable beds I've ever, ever sat on. I mean, I'm not even kidding. We've been in so many motorhomes yep. that there is something special. I'd like to know what they use. Integra, let me know, Cody. Yep. No, no, I, I, I gotta agree. And, and if we can just combo this bed with the size, I, I'm actually gonna combo it with a whole bathroom. Again, if this was a 40 foot motorhome, I'd say that bathroom's kind of average. But for this being 37 feet, that bathroom's a really good size, especially that shower. Well, Andrea, follow me. That's it, that's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell phone number, or again, even better, best way to contact us is just by going to mattsrvreviews.com. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter. Also click one of the contact tabs and I will be able to get to you ASAP. In a few seconds, if you're in the market for a high-end diesel pusher, uh, I'm gonna have some comparable videos right there for you to look at. Andrea, do you have anything you wanna say? Yes! Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Integra does read all the comments, you guys, and, and they're big fans, so they watch all the videos. So make sure you comment. Also, you guys, we're really trying to hit the 100,000 subscribers. So yes. please make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Other than that, I, I hope you guys are safe and you guys are well. Thanks for watching. And if we hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I will do a video wearing Andrea's oh! snowflake. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I don't think we'll do it by the end of the year, though. Great. That's it. Thank you absolutely so much for watching. Again, make sure you watch another video right there. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time.